All right, so we are recording. So once again, um, I am uh, excited about uh, next year's uh, incoming class. It's gonna be a great year. And um, I'm gonna be going through uh, a PowerPoint that's gonna explain like all the, the things that you can expect. And um, it's gonna be uh, hopefully a very interactive time. I know this is new for all of us, but uh, one thing that we're asking that you do, if you haven't already, is in the chat feature, if you just type the name of uh, the student, and if you are the student, that'll be the way I take attendance. And then um, I guess there's a uh, reactions uh, thing at the bottom that has uh, like thumbs up and clapping and different things. So when I'm particularly great, you can clap for me. Oh, thank you, Lakin. And, and um, so we... <laughs> We will we'll use those. Thanks, Chad. So um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, which is my, uh, my PowerPoint. And then, as I said, I have uh, a few people. I'll introduce them here in a second. Um, so let me share my screen. All right, so are we good? Can everybody see that? I want to be able to see myself too. There we are. Okay. So first off, uh, here are some people that I'm expecting will be joining us. Uh, ben Bonds, a former multimedia student and industry expert. Uh, Teresa Durkin is, uh, is here already. She's waving, if you can see her there. Um, she's the uh, Eastland Director of Student Services and Public Relations, also known as my boss. Um, and we have uh, Chad Gill, who is a, a Pickerington North uh, school counselor and father of a graduating multimedia student. And then Tony Guglielmi, former multimedia student and industry expert. And Annie Watts, who is a current uh, multimedia uh, junior. So just wanted to um, thank you all, first of all, who are here already and those who will be here. Um, it will help it will hopefully provide a well-rounded view of multimedia and um, give you some perspectives from different um, different viewpoints. Uh, so here is uh, the remind that I'll be using. So students, you can get out your phones now if you have them and you'll have other opportunities to do this, but here is a remind for um, next year's juniors. You just text at MM Junior to 81010 and it will allow you to get my reminds. I use these pretty sparingly, but for upcoming uh, deadlines on assignments and when we have field trips and getting uh, permission slips and all that sort of things, just um, important stuff that you might need to know. So go ahead and fill that out when you get a chance. And here is uh, what we're going to be covering, we're going to talk about what multimedia is, what makes it unique, a little bit about me and what you'll learn. Uh, I have a, a section where I talk about students and where are they now and, and how they've used multimedia as a stepping stone. A little bit about the schedule. Um, one second. Uh, the calendar, grading and attendance policies, a section on business professionals of America. Uh, we'll talk about the senior project, hardware, equipment, software, college credit the career passport and answer any questions that you have. So a lot to get through. So I'll try to keep moving. And I need to think I was, I'm going to go ahead and mute everybody. If I can figure out how to do it. Why don't you go downstairs and have a That's what I said. That muted me. Here, go on. Just watch it. All right, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, so multimedia, when I describe it to people, I say it is, uh, you've got just awesome students, creative students that are working with uh, really great computers in a, in a fun mm -hmm. setting, uh, creating multi uh, Media projects like graphics, videos, audio, 
animation and websites. Really all the fun stuff you can do on a computer, uh, really mm -hmm. stuff that in this day and age is, is very valuable in the marketplace. Uh, so what makes it unique? Uh, it's very uh, project-based and very hands-on. So there's um, very often what will happen is I'll introduce something and it'll be students doing it. And I'll be working my way around the room, making sure everybody is, is uh, uh, making their way through the material. And we're trying to um, basically trying to make our projects better and better. And so uh, another thing that is unique about multimedia is the atmosphere. We go to great lengths to um, make sure that students are going to have an awesome time when they're in the lab. Uh, for a lot of students, it becomes like home. Um, they will, um, I have a lot of students that come back for extra periods or they'll come in for their lunch or they come in before or after school. And it's sort of, most students find some place in the building that is their, their hub or their home and, and multimedia students often um, treat the lab that way. So uh, I'm proud of that and happy that they have found a place where, um, where it's comfortable. Some of the other things that we've done over the years are food days where everybody uh, just brings in something awesome that they want to share and we have a kind of a festive atmosphere while we're working. There's a uh, fridge up in the front that I keep stocked with ice water and um, not ice water but um, bottled water and uh, a Keurig in the back where we have um, we can have hot chocolate or coffee as, as uh, students bring things in and then um, We've got uh, we've got um, the another thing that uh, you'll see and hear a little bit more about is multimedia Thanksgiving has become a thing where uh, students who have graduated um, come back for a big a big feast and then my current students um, and I bring in as much uh, awesome food as we can we just have a great time hanging out in the lab um, so there's just lots of different ways we try to interact and um, and have a good time. So the other couple things there, 21st century skills, students are going to be learning things that you, you are really kind of hard to put a, um, a finger on, but a few of them would be things like collaborating, um, meeting deadlines, and um, negotiating with each other on big projects, uh, making uh, presentations, uh, traveling a little bit. So there's just all sorts of things that uh, come into to play that will improve their skills and get them ready for uh, college and career. And then um, what I look, I, my goal is to make it the, the most uh, engaging and awesome uh, two periods of, of every student's day. And so um, I want it to be fun. That's one of the things I put there at the bottom. It, it's, it's, uh, uh, sometimes I get uh, criticized for not selling enough how fun it is. And so I think students over the years have had a lot of fun and um, hopefully you'll get uh, to see that a little bit in uh, some of the um, some of the, the input that you'll have from some of the other people. All right. Mr. Ryder, if I can interrupt for just a second, I think you yes. need to manage participants. Okay. At the bottom, you could do a mute all just until um, to clear out the background noise for a minute. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for a second because that's causing my um, my interface to look a little different. So manage participants. There we are. Okay so I think everybody's muted and um, I'm going to go back to sharing my screen. And thank you, Teresa. Um, all right. So um, just going here, here's a picture of us from Multimedia Thanksgiving with uh, this year's graduating seniors. You got the uh, Rachel and then uh, Chad Gill's daughter, Lauren, in the background there. Um, when I was mentioning about class uh, hands-on learning, you never know what's going to happen in class. It's uh, very uh, different from day to day and from class to class. And so um, in this case, we, we were doing a video shoot for a, an intro video and we cracked an egg over Ty's head to get the shot we needed. 
Um, but there's a lot of times students working in groups or um, working on a tutorial. So it, it, that's one thing I think students like about it is it's not a class where you're going to go and every day it's the same thing. Uh, we, uh, another thing you'll see is uh, different field trips based on some of the um, major projects we were working on. This was one for Design Star project we did and us at Cantado's uh, Tacos and uh, industry experts uh, in the background there. Excuse me, you have um, Andrew Mozzarella, who's at Post House Creative. He is a um, producer uh, at a video company that does all the work for the Blue Jackets. And um, this is a picture of him working with some of my seniors uh, last year on their senior project. And so trying to uh, bring people in um, regularly that will give uh, an, an extra uh, value, uh, valuable voice for my students. Uh, and then again, fun. So just trying to say, you, students should definitely know they're going to have fun. And um, we're just going to have a, hopefully have a great atmosphere that inspires students to do great work. Uh, so there's just a couple quotes. Actually, this is a quote from Ben. He'll be speaking here um, a little later. So I'll move on from there to keep us moving. A um, little bit about me. Um, been married. Uh, almost 24 years this uh, summer to my awesome wife, Holly, pictured there with us. Um, my son uh, graduated last year from Pickerington North and is a freshman at Ohio State. Actually, now he's finished, so he's a sophomore. And my daughter is um, uh, 17 and a half, and she is a going to be a senior in the multimedia program. And, um, and then aside from that, I own and operate a consulting business. This is something that I've um, run as long as I've been a teacher, which is um, 18, this will be my 18th year. And the consulting aspect gives me a chance to uh, bring in real life projects to the classroom. So things that I'm dealing with with clients and, and what they want, what they need, and, and how the industry is impacted by the skills that they're learning, try to bring some of those stories in and, and keep it uh, super relevant and um, and timely. So it's not something that happened five years ago or 10 years ago. It's something that's happening currently. All right. So the big uh, things that you're going to be learning, um, I'm going to go through the big four, as I call them, are graphic design, web design, animation, and uh, video. And then there's a couple more that I'll talk about. But with graphic design, students are going to learn how to create uh, things that look really appealing. So they'll learn technical art skills and um, the design principles to make things look good along with um, they'll be learning uh, in depth in Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. So we'll do things like um, movie posters that you see here and, and flyers and uh, logos and business cards and, and website mock-ups and uh, menus, really anything that we can think of to try to design or redesign. Uh, we use that as a way to um, improve students' skills. After that, we move on into website design. And uh, this is kind of the core of what the program is. Um, and so with website designs from top to bottom, where students will learn how to uh, lay out a site so that it loads fast and navigates easily and uh, is uh, positioned to be found easily in search engines. They'll, they'll learn um, a lot about <clears throat> usability and um, just making the sites as, as good as they can be. They'll also get a chance to learn the underlying framework of what uh, creates the site, so HTML and CSS and JavaScript and jQuery. And um, so I have a, you know people who really get into the code side of things. We've been doing for the last five or six years uh, responsive design where students um, learn how to make sites that uh, respond to the device that's viewing it. So it looks good on a, a, a tablet and a smartphone and a desktop. And then um, we're also teaching them about WordPress, which is an underlying uh, framework for content management. And uh, so they'll have some experience with that. So there's really, uh, we're trying to keep as up to date as possible with what's going on in the industry. Uh, I have an advisory committee that I meet with a couple times a year and consult with um, uh, more times than that through email and phone calls to try to make sure that we're doing everything we can that, to position them to succeed in college and in their careers. 
so moving on from web design, um, we uh, do animation. So flash animation, um, animated shorts, video bumpers, motion graphics. Uh, students will get experience in Adobe uh, Premiere and Adobe After Effects and um, learn the principles of 2D design. And then uh, the, uh, the last of the big four is uh, video production. This is from beginning to end. Students will learn the, the three big phases of a video, the pre-production, the production, and then the post-production. And um, they get to work with great equipment, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, but they'll be writing scripts and um, casting their videos, figuring out a location to shoot. They'll get hands-on with the equipment. Uh, to shoot their videos and then um, learn the industry standard software for editing videos. So uh, they'll learn it from, from top to bottom. Another couple big units that we do that I, have, I, I haven't highlighted here, but uh, they'll, they'll learn about audio production. We use Adobe um, Audition and then um, another one is photography. So there's a unit where we'll uh, get the cameras out and learn exactly what is going on behind the scenes in the camera and learn to take better pictures. Uh, but I like to say it's a stepping stone. Multimedia, regardless of what you, um, what students come in passionate about, my goal is to expose them to all the areas, particularly their junior year, give them some experience in those areas, and then um, set them up for success their senior year and beyond. So I look at it as a stepping stone to um, a number of different careers. And so I'm just gonna quickly go through some of these um, former students and where they are now. Um, so Andre Dixon was really interested in, he was a web design guy and um, good at graphics and code and is now a front end software engineer um, in Pittsburgh. Alex Carlier took his skills and was an engineering officer in the US Army. Uh, Cassie Bowen uh, loved video and uh, went on to work at, at America's Most Wanted and then for a number of years at Discovery Channel working with uh, doing their promotions for things like uh, Gold Rush and Cash Cab and um, uh, just uh, Shark, Shark Week was another part of what she did and just recently moved on from there but, um, but uh, became a, a producer there. Um, Kyle Reinhardt took his um, degree from Capital and then used it to become a, a service operations manager at a company in Chicago. Uh, Kyle, or I'm sorry, Andrew Reedy um, went on to start his own company and now is the CTO of Reachify and I know worked on various collaborations with uh, students to, to build businesses. Uh, Lauren Presto Filippo, after I graduated from UC, uh, went on and became a uh, product designer at Postmates. And uh, I believe that's where she still is, but she's, I think, out in California somewhere now. Uh, Tony, who we'll hear from in just a little bit, is um, this might be slightly outdated, but I know at one point he was head of user experience at Imager, uh, which is one of the uh, top. 30 or 40 websites um, in the United States in terms of page views. And um, he will talk about that, I guess, in a little bit. But uh, he was obviously really good at uh, web design kind of stuff. Danny Dargum uh, was great at graphics. And after graduating from Kent, went on to become a graphic designer for Victoria's Secret. Nimi uh, Krukerbo uh, took his uh, degree from Ohio State and is a um, senior consultant at Ernst & Young now as an accountant. Erica Malone also graduated from Ohio State and, and she's a good example of someone who is interested in the, the, the work done in the class but realized she didn't love actually doing it. She liked being around it and um, knew enough about it. So a good fit for her is to become an account, um, basically like an account manager at a creative agency. So she um, isn't the one actually doing the multimedia work, but she's um, helping um, manage the accounts. Kayla Byler, uh, after graduating from Ohio State in journalism, uh, is working with the US, I uh, can't remember if she's at USA Today or Chicago Tribune now, but doing social media and page layouts. Um, Jessica McManus is a uh, user experience designer at Brand Value Accelerator after graduating from Ohio State. 
Um, Megan Logue opened up her own business and was a uh, um, more on the front end kind of creative side of things. Yeah, uh, Taylor Cantor is a good example of someone who uh, was very, very good in my class, uh, but always knew he was going to go into medicine. He's um, at the University of Michigan now doing a uh, residency for cardiothoracic uh, surgery, to be a surgeon. And uh, Kelly Oliver is a self-employed wedding and lifestyle photographer after uh, graduating from OU. So I could go on and on. This kind of cuts off at 2011. There's a lot more examples of students over the last several years who've gone off and done things. But my point is um, you can uh, learn any of those skills and kind of use them as a stepping stone to the, the place where you want to be. Um, okay, so as we move into the schedule um, portion of things, I'll, I'll start by saying, obviously, nobody really knows exactly what's coming uh, in the fall, but uh, as best as I know at this time, this is what we've got. And um, typically, the junior year um, is third and fourth period. And then your senior year, it's first and second period. It is two periods a day. It's for two years. And um, this year coming up, um, North has the, the plan schedule included adding a ninth period, which um, should make scheduling flexibility just a, a little bit easier and better. Um, but uh, we will um, answer any questions you have when we get to the end here. But um, let's see. The academic calendar, I want to make clear that you follow Pickerington's calendar regardless of um, what your homeschool is. So um, as it relates to uh, calamity days and um, winter breaks and things like that, spring break, follow Pickerington's calendar. Um, and if you want to do a half day from another school, it is possible, but you need to have uh, reliable transportation and a driver's license and be willing to eat your lunch kind of on the run so you you lose a period basically when you're traveling so as long as you can eat your lunch in that period of time I think it can typically work out so um, the process though for students who are out of out of the district is to I know that you need to go to the welcome center and um, the Pick Pickerington's welcome center and tell them you're a multimedia student and then they will create a student ID for you in the Pickerington system and uh, after that after that takes place then you can contact uh, Chad Gill um, and Chad you can um, let me know if this is a changed at all in any way if there's somebody else that they need to contact but uh, yeah. typically can you, uh, you can, you can you hear me Doug yeah go ahead the, yeah, the first step would be contact the Welcome Center if you're out of district. Okay. And so, and I'll, I'll type in the text to the chat. I'll type in the ad, the uh, phone number and the email address, but it's 614-920-6180. Okay. Great. Um, and then they have, a, or you could do Welcome Center, welcome underscore center at plsd.us. You can email them too. Okay. Um, that's if you're out of district. If you're in district, we're fine. We'll get, we'll take care of you. I like what you said earlier. It should be a little easier to schedule your kids because we added a period to the day. I think that will really help. Um, the first step would be welcome center. Second step would be the registrar, which um, I can, I'll type that in the text too. That'd probably be help because then That'd she'll be help. Yeah, I'll type that in the text so you guys can all read that. I don't want to interrupt your presentation. I'll type it as we go. Sound good? Okay, awesome. Okay. Thanks, Chad. Appreciate it. No problem. Okay. Um, so moving on, grades and attendance. Just be aware that um, grades are kept in a system called Progress Book, and it, it's separate from Infinite Campus. It is something that um, that students have access to, and parents will have access to, just like they would um, Infinite Campus. But it is a, a separate system, and um, in also along with that. Any time a student is absent, they need to contact um, Jody Gasnick, who, who is our um, one of the uh, representatives at Eastland Fairfield that will handle attendance issues. And one thing to of special note is the seven absence rule. And Teresa, you can stop me if this is no longer the case, but um, it, it has yeah, been. Yeah, I'm going to stop you now then. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you can, that seven absence rule is no longer in effect. Okay, 
Great. Okay. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. No, I'm glad you did. I, I wondered if that was a, something that was changed or not. So cool. Okay, next um, thing I wanted to go over is uh, something called Business Professionals of America. And um, this is one of my favorite uh, times of the year. It's um, a fun uh, thing that adds in a lot to the class. And um, so it is, uh, let's see if what my slide is here. It's, it's basically a way that, um, uh, that Wow, I can't can't get this to come out right. <laughs> it is, it's a it's a organization that their goal is to supplement the regular learning that takes place in the classroom, and so that takes um, its shape in the mostly for us through competition. So, uh, it gives my students a chance to compete against other students who are learning similar types of things. And so over the years, we've competed in website design and graphics and video and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to talk about that in a second. But let me jump back to the, the citizenship and the leadership. Uh, this past year, um, throughout the year, I had uh, students who went <clears throat> with me to Abington Senior Assisted Living. And probably we were getting up to averaging a couple times a month. We went and played uh, chair volleyball with the seniors. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, they would... Uh, they would come ready, ready to go, and they wanted to to go, and uh, against us. Um, but after we dominated um, too much, they they ming they mixed us in a little a little more, so that there were some of my students along with the seniors. But it was so fun. It was just um, I, I looked forward to it. So did my students, and the residents there did too. It's just something we could do to try to. Um, be involved in our community and um, those are the kind of things we want to try to in, you know in, uh, do more of another example is during our multimedia Thanksgiving we had a food drive and everybody who came to multimedia Thanksgiving also brought canned foods that were then taken to the Pickerings and food um, uh, pantry so that's that's the community involvement piece and I'm, I'm hoping that will continue to grow uh, for the leadership side of things you have students who can run for office and at times they'll be giving speeches and the whole idea of, of campaigning and there's that whole aspect but as I mentioned the big the big thing for us has been competing and um, I just challenge my students every year to, to give it their best and um, see where they um, where things where things land and over the years um, if if we win at regionals, um, we get or win or get in the top two or three in the in region, we move on to state. If you if you um, win the state, then you get a chance to go to nationals. And at nationals, um, it's a tremendous amount of fun. It's a great time, and it's always in a different city. So in 2004, we were in Cincinnati, and I'll try to go through these kind of quick. But uh, I am really proud of it. I'm proud of my students and. Um, we have we've done well over the years and i think now including this year now we've been um to nationals 15 out of 17 years uh so this first year we went to cincinnati andre was second in the state in fundamentals of web design um what's happening my computer is not there we go um so then the next year we went to Anaheim. I had students who won the state in website design. We got to go to Disney World and Laguna Beach. Um, finished eighth in the nation that year in website design. After that was Orlando and that group, um, actually that was the year that they uh, finished eighth in the nation and got to go to Disney World for that year. 2007, this was Tony's year. Um, and they got second in the state that year as juniors and went to New York City where we went to a Yankees game and a couple plays and got the tour. <laughs> uh -oh. That's my dog and there's no muting her, but um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, 2009, we went to Dallas. Uh, that was the year of the swine flu. So we went in the summer. Um, and in 2010, it was our another trip back to Anaheim. There's Taylor who went on to be a surgeon, went to a Dodgers game and, um, Santa Monica Beach, uh, Chicago in 2011, or I'm sorry, 2012, where Joey Dye got second place in the nation in fundamentals of web design. 
2013, went to Orlando again. 2014, there's Ben Bond, who's going to speak here in a little bit. He got second place in the nation in fundamentals of web design. And uh, we got to tour the RCA Dome, um, or Lucas Oil Stadium, I guess it's called now. And then uh, got to ride some Segways and got to eat. Uh, 2015 was Anaheim the uh, third time. And we had um, the state runner-up website team and the uh, state champion, uh, Desktop Publishing, and Bryce McGuire. And that team um, was so upset about getting second place at state that they um, bounced back and won nationals. So that was awesome. That was our first national championship. Um, and I told them right when they won it to, to really enjoy it because uh, it's incredibly difficult to get there. And, and we were just having a good time. I said, because you're, there's almost no chance of you getting back here and doing this again because it's just too hard. And so I was kind of throwing down the uh, – the challenge to them and um, it worked. Um, they they um, came back even better the next year and won the state in web design and uh, we got to go to Boston that year and they won it again. So they were back to back national champs in website design and uh, that was a really fun trip. And they did a, a website about alcohol addiction and um, after that, we went to Orlando in 2017 with a new group, and they, I believe, were second in the state in website design uh, as juniors again. And then that junior group came back uh, the next year and um, went to Dallas. They won the state that year and um, got to go to uh, AT&T Stadium and some other fun stuff, Six Flags over Texas, I think it was. Uh, last year, uh, we went to Anaheim, and th this year, that year was really fun in that we had state champs in uh, video production and website design, and so it was our first time to take two uh, state uh, champion teams to nationals, and um, so we got to go to an Angels game, and um, in and out Burger, as you see, was a big deal to my students in Santa Monica. And the video team um, got first in the nation, so they were national champs. And um, the website team got uh, third place in the nation. So it was pretty awesome to have back-to-back -back teams at nationals, um, standing there with the, the plaques and the, the, the medals and knowing that all their hard work um, had paid off. Um, this year, um, we were right on, on track. We had a, an awesome year this year. And i um, super proud of my students um, because two days before they were going to compete at state that was when the, um, the stay-at-home order uh, kind of went into effect and all, everything got canceled. The state conference was canceled. The national conference was canceled. And, you know, I really got to hand it to them because the national conference, going to that is really the, the exciting thing. That's, that's the prize. And um, even though that was canceled, they, they kept at it and they, um, they worked even harder on their presentations to finish strong. And so we had um, state champs again in website design. So third year in a row for that. And then the video team also won the state. So they're back to back in the state. Um, and then had a second and third in uh, fundamentals of web design and a second place in um, in what is it presentation management team so it was our first time to have three teams qualify for nationals and um and then a couple other people so 14 people qualifying for nationals super proud of that super happy for my students sad that they don't get to go um but they really wanted just to finish strong and they did so um it was a great year and hopefully we'll um build on that for next year and this is just a, a thing for um, what I tell my students at the beginning of the, of the time is you play to win the game. And that is, uh, for sports fans out there, you might have recognized that from Herm Edwards, a classic rant of his um, many years ago when asked if the Jets should tank in order to get a better um, draft pick. And he came back with this epic line. And so I, I start off the year um, telling them that we're – we're we're not playing to just play we're going we're going after this with everything we've got and um and it ends up becoming kind of a class 
um, rally and cry and, and we just try to, to do it. And so from my perspective, it's, it's an invaluable time of year. It's like, I, I kid you not, I had students who email would email me regularly. Can we come in early again? You know, can, can we get to school early? Can we, how late can you stay today? Um, and that's pretty commonplace actually over the last, you know, 10 years, students really want to win and they're, they'll do whatever it takes to put in the effort to do it. And, um, and so they're learning so much, um, aside from what they're creating, then there's the presentation aspect to it. And there's a lot of, we put in a lot of work, um, on the presentation side of things. Um, I have a few people who have joined the call, excuse me, that could probably jump in and talk here before I finish out. So I don't know if, uh, anybody, I know, um, Pretty sure Annie is on here, and and Tony and and Ben. Um, any of you that want to chime in here, this, this is probably be a good time to give you guys a a moment to say something. So let me stop my share, and uh, I don't know. Annie, you want to say something? Let me see. Oops. Yeah, so I'm part of the, our web our web team this year, and we were supposed to go to nationals, but as he said, it got canceled. But the thing about BPA and just this class as a whole, so for BPA, you get to put, like, to be completely truthful, you get to put as much work in as you want. You can put very little or work as hard as you possibly can, and, like, you get what you deserve, really. So if you're going to work as hard as you can, the chances are you're going to win, and I don't know about you guys, but winning is a pretty good feeling. Like you put, like I was one of the students that I came in in the morning and I stayed late and it was just like a, like a month stretch of where I did that almost every day. And I mean, it's exhausting, but like the feeling of just winning, like I only got to go to regionals for um, like the regional experience because States was then moved online. And even that I would still call it worth it because like not only did like, you know, you get the excitement and the buildup and all of that, and you get the reward. But hold on, someone's calling me. Sorry. But like the team I got to work with, like I have two of my best friends on there, and then um, another one of my friends. I've never been closer to them than that. Like we have so much fun the whole time. Like we're constantly laughing. We're just making jokes. And I mean, we're still working as we're doing it. But I mean, I think multimedia as a whole is like flat out the best decision I made in high school. And I think for people, it's hard to weigh out. Like it's so time consuming during the day that it's like, can I fit it? And do I really want it that much? And for me personally, I think, I mean, that was the best option. Like the best thing I could have done for myself is to take this class. And so I just, I mean, I think anyone, all of you guys should make sure that you can fit it and that you enjoy it. That's all I have to say. <laughs> That's great. I appreciate you saying that. That's, uh, that's, and she's a, a current junior and yeah, she's one of the ones that came in early and, uh, and deserved all, all the, uh, the awards she's got. So thanks, Jan. I appreciate you coming and saying that. Um, Ben, do you want to, you want to say something? Absolutely. Yeah. I told you the other day when you were asking me if I was uh, wanting to come and, and talk to everyone, that as long as I didn't go after Tony, that would be all that is necessary. Because I know Tony was one of the people that, <laughs> I know Tony was one of the people that came and talked to our class as we were starting out. And uh, as a multimedia legend himself going on and doing great things after multimedia, he was uh, definitely uh, an inspiration as I started multimedia um, in the path that I followed. But yeah, I'm, I'm Ben Bond. I am a 2014 graduate of multimedia. Um, right now I am a infra uh, infrastructure developer at Nationwide Insurance, um, supporting the personal lines uh, business at Nationwide <laughs> Insurance. Uh, when Mr. Ryder asked if I wanted to come and talk today about it, I was really excited because I thought it was a good opportunity to highlight the things that, um, that I think that I got a, a huge impact in not only my collegiate career after graduating, uh, but also my person, my professional uh, career at Nationwide and, and in the future it really set me up for, for success after graduation. So I made sure to write down uh, some of the things that I have done either during multimedia 
or directly as a result of the things that I learned in multimedia. I know Mr. Ryder touched a little bit on the things earlier in his presentation, but uh, over at least my junior year, I know I created dozens of posters and graphics and logos. Uh, throughout the two years that I was a part of multimedia, I shot and edited um, probably a dozen videos, including a multimedia Bye 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 music video. That was one of my first videos that, um, that I got to edit as part of uh, a multimedia student. Uh, I learned so much about web design that I didn't even have to pay attention in one of my college semester classes. I probably shouldn't say that, but uh, I, I know during the unit on photography, I learned how to use a DSLR camera, uh, not only just the, the basic functions of it, but how, uh, how to adjust the settings to, to get the, pos the best possible image and video as well. Um, I learned how to use the Adobe suite of applications for graphic design video editing uh, and video effects, including Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere, Audition, and After Effects. Um, and again, like, uh, like Annie was mentioning before, and like Mr. Ryder was talking about earlier, uh, the biggest highlight of multimedia for me uh, was getting to compete in the BPA competitions. Um, uh, I got second in the nation for the web design, or fundamentals of web design and just getting to travel with the people that I was so close with in multimedia, getting to travel with, multi, or with Mr. Ryder, um, uh, just was a, an amazing experience. And I know Mr. Ryder counts on it for a free vacation each year. Um, <laughs> uh, I got to shoot and edit a full-length documentary. Um, I was able to get paid to video and edit for wedding films uh, for people that um, that had reached out to me. And um, I even got to film my own wedding ceremony and, and edit my own wed wedding ceremony. And, and one of the other things that was such a key thing for me in multimedia was getting to focus in on the things that I was passionate about, especially in my senior year as I was doing the senior project. Uh, Mr. Ryder does a great job of covering all of the four core things, graphic design, video, web design, um, and photography. But the thing that I was most passionate about uh, in my time at Multimedia was web design. And, and that's things that even now in my professional career, the things that I learned in Multimedia, I can directly um, track back the things that I do now to the things that I had learned in Multimedia. And it was such an invaluable experience being a part of Multimedia. Uh, and again, I think the one of the other more rewarding and best things about multimedia was getting to spend the two hours each day for two years uh, with the same people who all had a passion for um, not necessarily web design like I was, but equally as passionate about uh, multimedia and getting to collaborate, getting to um, compete together, getting to form lasting friendships, as well as having Mr. Ryder, who is a a great role model for me um, as I was learning uh, things of multimedia uh, and even keeping in touch with him after graduation, having my brother and sister both going through the multimedia program after me and having equally as great of an experience um, getting to learn about multimedia um, was just a, an amazing experience that, that I'm never going to forget. So even if you don't um, choose multimedia as your um, as your career, the things that you're gonna learn in this class are, are going to no doubt uh, impact you uh, and help you stand out as a, uh, a candidate in a job as well as in college. Um, so I appreciate the opportunity to get to come and talk. I think it's really awesome that, I mean, eight years ago, I was in this similar, um, this similar situation, but I, I'm just getting old, it's weird. But yeah, thank you, Mr. Ryder, I appreciate it. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate all the nice things you said. I'm glad to, to know that it's, you know, benefited you so much. And uh, so, yeah, appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Um, how are you going to follow that up, Tony? I don't know how you're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> all oh, right. Cool. So, yeah, go ahead, Tony. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to follow that up by saying that I don't have uh, – I'm not much for words recently because I have very little sleep due to a newborn that I have now. So um, new edition on uh, December 25th. Um, Congrats. 
My, uh, my name is Tony Guliami. I, uh, I work for a company named Imager. Uh, we are top 25 most visited, visited or traffic site in the U.S., um, top 40 or maybe top 60 in the world. And um, it's just uh, honestly uh, multimedia. Oh, and I'm a lead software engineer. Uh, I'm no longer head of UX, but okay. if you were to ask the CEO, he would tell me, he would tell you that I'm head of UX. Um, and that's exactly just kind of the outline of just, uh, I think where multimedia has helped me um, beyond belief. Uh, my first job, obviously, uh, I started as a designer dev. And the only reason they made me head of UX is because I was the only designer. Uh, but I could design and, and, and engineer websites. Um, so uh, multimedia is what kind of unlocked that for me. Um, and it just gave me the passion. It taught me, um, honestly, beyond uh, just the hard skills, uh, there's a lot more value that multimedia does, gives um, that just goes, uh, they're just intrinsic things. Uh, I was just actually thinking as Ben, ben was talking, he was saying that um, he works for Nationwide. And uh, actually, it sounded like um, he actually is supporting uh, a lot of infrastructure that helps nationwide run. And I have family that works for Nationwide, obviously, as well. So it's just a, there's this intrinsic value that you end up starting to learn about, um, especially after I'm being 12 years removed now. Um, and it's amazing to see uh, some of the past winners, even before 2007, 2006, uh, those individuals are the ones that uh, they inspired me to want to be in multimedia um, and to see where they are now. I actually started uh, a company. It failed, but I actually started a company um, with some of those individuals as well, like Warren Preston Filippo. And um, so it's just uh, one of those things where another value add here is also the network that you're going to get. Um, we have people that, uh, I have people that I graduated with that are uh, working for Facebook. Um, we know that there is a, an Amazon engineer with John Wilbur, and it's just an amazing uh, amount of talent that comes through uh, this, uh, this network and through multimedia. Um, I, run, I do a lot of talking down at OU, uh, Ohio University, and um, I always kind of have to do a double take because there's always somebody from multimedia in the place that I'm talking. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's, and then that's amazing. Um, and so you always end up feeling at home when you run across those individuals. And that's kind of exactly what you get when you're spending two uh, periods a day for two years um, where you're, you're always kind of feel like family. Um, along with that comes soft skills. Um, the ability to compromise uh, is definitely needed. You don't get to the national level um, by not compromising um, or learning to communicate. Um, and in this time, even, uh, Imager is almost a 100% remote working company. Uh, and if not, we or everybody has the choice to work remotely. Um, and in this time, uh, the skills that and some even some of the projects that Mr. Ryder does with another um, another group, you learn to work remotely from with other team members. Uh, so there's just so much value that this adds that isn't just about the graphic design, isn't just about the videography, isn't just about um, the hard skills that you'll get out of this. It's about the things that just uh, of a more connected world uh, through web, through Zoom. Um, that you will get out of it as well. So um, I think all the praise to this group and um, hey, it was really hard to go after Ben, so. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. I, I uh, was waiting there to see if my dog would stop barking. <laughs> She's found something that's, uh, but I, yeah, I appreciate everything you said there. And, um, yeah, Tony. Tony is a legend, but and Ben, Ben and the family are as well. There's a there's a lot of them, but uh, found found a couple of them who are available tonight. And I really appreciate you guys coming. Um, I'm gonna 
Um, Chad, do you want to go ahead? Say a few things. Yeah. Yeah. Because I have a different perspective as a as a parent and as a counselor, and I've kind of observed the program for the last 13, 14 years, I think. Um, my daughter, an outgoing senior now, I, it's she truly, you know, kind of picked up so much about what she's going to do with her future. She's decided to go into communications and graphic arts because of your program. Um, you know, I really do feel bad for a lot of kids at this building that aren't able to take your class. I mean, I think that a lot of kids could really benefit from it. Just, just going in and observing, like even when kids are working, there's, there's videos playing of different careers, people speaking about their careers as you are working. I think it's like that multitasking world. You know, kids are actually, they're collaborating, they're looking, they're, they're seeing what other opportunities there are out there. I know that's something you've really focused on. And I know, um, you know, Lauren and her friends and, and Ben's sister, Rachel's in the, in the class too. And I know that she's gotten so much out of it. But it's more, it's, it's the, the people skills, the soft skills, the hard skills, everything that you develop. And like, you know, I think Tony said two hours a day, or Ben said two hours a day with you, you just gain so much. You become a family. It's fun. Um, you know, I, I just uh, can't tell you what it, it does for these kids. And it really, I almost feel bad for those kids that can't do it, you know, because it's just such an opportunity for these kids. So, um, you know, with that, I don't know if they, I need to sell it too much more. I just passionately love this program. Jake just got here. Hey. He's going to be in the program too. He just got <laughs> off work. So, up, Jake? Uh, <laughs> um, you know, and then back to work as far as that's concerned. If you, if you are an out of, out of district uh, student, just check on that chat screen. And I've typed in the welcome center uh, phone number address and then check with our registrar after that. Then she'll send you to me and I'll take, make sure your schedule's good. But you have to be in our system in order for me to give you a schedule. But can't thank you enough, Mr. Ryder, for all the things you've done. Um, you know, you, Annie and Tony and Ben, you did a great job speaking. And I, I don't think we even covered everything that happens in this class. So uh, with that, I'll give it back to you. But I just want to thank you for everything you've done for our kids at North and for my kids personally. Thanks, Chad. I appreciate that. You know, uh, what Chad's not saying is that his daughter, Lauren, is awesome, and uh, she would be great in any class, but I appreciate uh, you saying that, and I'm glad that I could be a part of um, her her story here at North. So um, thank you all again for, for your um, contribution tonight. I really do appreciate it, because I know this is a super busy time. Um, I'm going to share my screen again and try to wrap things up. We're in the home stretch. Um, see if my mouse still works yeah so uh, senior project is something that students get to do in fact I'm uh, the presentations are tomorrow and Friday uh, in essence if you come into the program thinking you let's say you really like animation but over the course of a year a little over a year you didn't get enough of it you get to decide what is going to be your topic for further study um, and that's going to be the way you finish out your year. So like Ben uh, redesigned the um, Pickerington North Theater website, or he might have been the first one to build it. Um, and then uh, I know Tony did a viral uh, marketing campaign and people can just do whatever is most passionate, whatever they're most passionate about. Um, so they get probably approximately um, four or five weeks to work on the initial phase of it and then they pitch um, kind of some of their their initial work to a panel of judges at the halftime show and then there's another six or seven weeks to for them to finish up and then um, and then there's a several weeks where they work on a presentation and a showcase um, and then and then that's that's it it's, it's pretty amazing so it can be just some of the ones over the last few years just a a senior video or a photography or mastering a CD. It's really just anything that they're passionate about. And um, they come away with hopefully the, the best project that they've ever uh, done while they're in high school. Uh, the hardware uh, that you, students are gonna work on is awesome. Eastland does a great job of uh, making sure this lab is equipped with the uh, hardware and equipment that we need with uh, multimedia. And fortunately, we need like good stuff because it takes a good computer to um, process video and, and do some of the other things we're doing. So these are only one year old. Um, so 
all sorts of good things. I always like to point out it says turbo, and I think that's really good. Um, it's going to mean it's fast. And a uh, 750 gig uh, solid state drive is good. So they are good, and they're fast, and we have a, a, a team that um, is dedicated to the lab to keep it um, running at optimal um, efficiency. And along with that, there's a lot of great equipment that students can check out. So these are pictures of some of the uh, DSLR cameras or the, the JVC uh, 4K Handycam, all sorts of things to, that we've um, um, got to raise our, our video production level. So wireless lav packs, you have boom poles, green screens, tripods, um, audio recording devices. So all sorts of stuff to make sure that um, we are doing everything we can. So they're hands-on, they come out of the program, they will already have some experience working with the things that, um, that students or that uh, people in the, in the profession will be using. Software, we've covered a lot of these, but it's mostly Adobe. Uh, it's not exclusively, but it's pretty close. Uh, we're gonna cover a lot. So they're gonna come out really a step ahead. And like, I love what Ben said, and I know Tony has mentioned that kind of thing to me before, where and other students too about well, they'll go to some of their classes in college they it, it makes it a breeze they, they've already had a couple of years in the program that they're learning about in college so um, it's a big benefit uh, the CCP uh, portion of the class um, is operated through Columbus State and the class is called DDG 1100 intro to computer design and um, it is uh, it's a three credit hour class. So you come away with uh, for sure three uh, credits um, from Columbus State. And then there are what are called articulated credits. There's nine articulated credits um, that are arranged with various colleges. So you would, multimedia students can walk away from the program with up to 12 college credits. Um, always subject to change and always subject to the um, school that you are going to. But it's a big benefit and um, can help students to, um, as they have more hours, they can register for classes earlier. It ends up being less books, perhaps, they might have to take and buy. Um, I've heard students say they get to re uh, parking passes faster. Um, so, um, and it is a, um, it is a benefit to my students. Sorry about my dog. I really, I'm not a good, I'm not that great of a dog. I can't, I can't make her stop. <laughs> so, um, let me, okay. and then lastly, um, is the career passport, um, which there's a picture of it there that it's a leather bound portfolio that includes a resume, some writing samples, and, uh, it's a place where you can put your, the students can put their awards and their diplomas and different things. And this is a nice, um, uh, collection of, of the students work basically and so it's like a portfolio and uh, that is given to each student and it's a, a great place to keep everything in um, in one place when you're uh, looking at different colleges or going to a job interview you might have every hopefully have everything ready to go so all right there's my contact info and um, Teresa's contact info and I think the last slide on here is um, different ways you can find us online. There's a website, eastlandmultimedia.com, that has lots of information similar to what we just went through. Uh, on Facebook, I put lots of uh, pictures of what's going on in the class and when we're uh, traveling and um, competing and those kind of things. Same thing for Twitter and then YouTube. Um, is where we'll post different videos students have done over the years and so you can kind of get a gauge for what we're up to what we're up to um, so I'm gonna stop my screen share and um, and then I, I don't know if there's people who have questions if we'll figure out a way to get questions and answers um, and as we wrap up I hear you from my sister. You've been doing daily dad jokes, Mr. Ryder. Oh, that's true. You know I, I didn't mention that. I got to keep some of this back for like, you know, it's got to be, but yes, um, I do a, um, a daily lyrics challenge and where I read lyrics and students have to uh, say if they know the artist and title. And then this year I've added the dad joke um, to 
um, to the daily rundown. Um, yes, actually, I, I remember <laughs> today's dad joke was, um, so actually I just got finished um, helping my dad put in a new window. Yeah, it was a real pain. Yeah. <laughs> so that's if about the reaction. They'd be laughing. That's about the reaction I typically oh, get. We're, we're all we're all laughing very hard, trust me. Just <laughs> muted. Oh wow. Uh, hey guys, don't forget to put your name in the um, chat box so we can have the attendance, please. Um, one other thing that I usually say during the new student orientation is um, I make it my goal to reach out once or twice over the summer and to see how you're doing, especially once we get closer to the beginning of the school year. But probably going to ramp that up this summer, um, given that this is an unusual time and just try to stay a little more connected. Um, so, you know, I, I expect to send updates and any any news that I have on my end and then be available to answer questions that you would have um, and then I know Mr. Gill is awesome and he'll he'll help us get every everybody um, get their schedules figured out so I always tell students we can figure out your schedule um, so I hate to have any student who um, thinks that scheduling is an issue because um, with Mr. Gill and uh, the administration at, at Pickerington and Eastland we have moved mountains to get students into the program almost quite literally we have done all sorts of things to get students um, so that they can um, make it fit in their schedule so um, i will make it my goal to um, be regularly available throughout the summer any anybody have questions about anything we covered or things that we didn't cover I'm going to check the chat and see if there's anything over there. <laughs> ben asked if we could get a dad joke. Um, and then mostly it's people signing in for attendance, I think, and Chad Gill's info about registering and getting scheduling. So sorry I went over a little bit, but, you know, I love multimedia and I appreciate the, uh, the people who spoke who um, I, I, Love and care about those people too. I'm glad you guys could come. Tonight. I know another busy, especially Tony. He's got a he got a four month old Tony, roughly five months. Yes, uh, wow. he's yeah four months. Uh, really cute, but man, I do miss sleep every once in a while. So <laughs> believe that. <laughs> I'm also open to answer any questions too, if anybody has questions on the, the student side as well. Thanks, Tony. It doesn't seem like we have any. I, I don't know, I don't wanna rush, rush off here or anything, um, but doesn't seem like anyone is, uh, do we have any students on here from out of district? I'm just curious. We have at least one. Trinity Lind is, is uh, New Albany, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. We do need you to complete that scheduling form. Oh, we have one more. Mary oh. Chestnut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you go to the One Day EFCTS website, and you click on the satellites, um, you'll see a link there for scheduling. And um, that's just for us to get an idea of who needs to, who plans to take their academics at Pickerington. Um, just kind of gives us an idea of um, some follow-up and, and making sure that you get to the Welcome Center and, and doing all the steps that Chad Gill mentioned. Yeah, it's funny how that kind of stuff, you know, it seems like we've got so long till, but it always sneaks up on us a little bit. It's like we, it's like, here it is, May 13th, and the next thing you know, it's, it's going to be where I'm, I'm texting Chad and telling him here, we've got people, we gotta, we gotta get them in. So um, the earlier you can take those steps, I don't know if there's a, if they have to wait any period of time uh, till, till this year's closed out, Chad, or can they, 
Do you know if they well, can? Well, I think as soon as, they're, as soon as the school year is over, then call the Welcome Center. Okay. Until we close. Um, but like, yeah, you mentioned that there is a half day. You could come just for the morning and go back to your home school, or you can do a full day. You have that option. But just got to let us know what your plans are and which courses you plan to take at North or at your home school and, and at North. So, but we'll work that out. We just got to get through the school year. And then we'll, once you apply to the Welcome Center, we'll process that once we get you in our system. Mr. Ryder, I know uh, another thing that sometimes you um, stress to the students and parents, I know you want the kids on the computers and network mm. on the first day. So could you send out a shout out there, uh, making sure they are looking for that in the mail and so forth? Yes, and you can help me with the timing of when they should expect it. But um, at some point in the summer, you'll get a letter uh, in the mail from Eastland and it will have in it a um, information about how you can fill out annual forms. A lot of districts have gone to this now. I know Pickerington, Pickerington does this as well. It uh, allows you to fill out a, an emergency medical and a, a publicity release and some, some other things. And, um, and a part of that is the acceptable use policy for the network. And uh, Eastland will not, um, create, will not uh, release logins for the computers until those are signed. So um, to get us up and running quickly if you can do those during the summer and have all that paperwork out of the way then it makes my life a hundred times easier and it will make your lives and your students lives easier too so Teresa roughly when would that letter go out I think we're hoping to get that out in mid-June oh awesome that'd be fantastic so don't hold me to it well, let's shoot for mid-June. I've been pushing for that. I'm trying to push that as far back as possible. So mid-June sounds great. And then even if we don't hit that exactly, it'll be still pretty good. Well, if there's not any other questions, um, I want to thank everybody for coming. As, and again, spe special thanks to, to Chad Gill and Tony Guglielmi and Ben Bond and Annie Watts and Teresa Durkin. Um, for uh, being here tonight and helping add to the, to the mix. I'm super excited about uh, the beginning of next year. I will be raring to go. It's been so long since I've been in the lab. Um, and, and I will be um, even, even more pumped than normal to get in there and, and, and make it the best two periods of every student's day. So thank you for coming and, um, you know, have a, have a good night. This concludes the multimedia new student orientation. Nice job, Mr. Ryder. Thanks all. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>